Alright, we just finished They May Be Slow on Total Carnage, and now we are on But They're Hungry. And notice it's taking three hits with my blue crystal to kill that guy, because he's got more health. Every once in a while you can still kill them in two, but more often than not, it takes three. Which makes it more important that you save your blue crystal for the phantasms, because each time you use it, it recharges slower, and you only get 60 um, total uses of the crystal before it shatters. So you want to be making sure you're saving it for the phantasms when you really need it. Since it's just... You'll have less opportunity to use it on other things, since... You're using it three times on each phantasm instead of twice. And I don't... I mean, I guess that's one thing I could modify for difficulties is give give you more uses of your crystals, but I don't think I need to. I think that's just part of the challenge. Coming at me from all sides here. Kind of in a cramped area there. <clears throat> I think I did pretty decent there, dodging everything. When they fire at you so much more um, often, it can be kind of hard in those cramped areas. All right, we're getting pretty close to the end of this. That guy's ammo. And I'm actually gonna go back and save because this next part is hard on normal, so it can be pretty difficult on total carnage as well. But I think as long as you keep moving, It'll be all right. Now, or not. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of, let's see. Maybe I should make sure my gun's got a full magazine. That's probably important for this. Alright, hopefully I can do this now that I'm in a safe area.
Okay. I'm gonna try to go down and rest here. Hopefully it's safe. Alright, I'm actually gonna go save. Don't wanna have to do that again. Yeah, I think that's what happened last time I played this on Total Carnage as well. You get down to almost no health, and then you just try to make it to that room and try not to get hit anymore. But yeah, I would say definitely making sure my magazine wasn't full. Or, I mean, making sure it was full before going up that ladder was... A critical step in making that successful. Ah. All right, gonna go to down here and rest again. Hopefully I've gotten past the really hard part of that level. And we're on un uh, evil undead phantasms must die. Alright, so that time he only took two hits. All right, doing all right so far. Just kind of got to take your time and be careful. Walk around the edges. You don't want to get surrounded here. Alright, I should probably try to rest while I have a little bit of extra health. Because there's a good chance I'm going to get attacked while resting. Just since that seems to happen a lot on this level. Alright, that worked. There should be a pearl around here somewhere. Uh. 
Okay. So here's the pearl. And I got 10 maximum health now, so I try resting. Ouch. All right, one more chance here. I guess I didn't totally die. <laughs> All right, well, at least I saved here at one point. Um, yeah, if you let them surround you, it's really tough to survive this level. All right, well, I don't know. It's probably not safe. Got another, got the pearl again, so let's see what happens. Nope. Yeah, it's just really hard to find a safe place to rest on this level. But, alright, looks like I managed to do it. And now it's time to go to Ascension. And now that I've got the enemy spawns uh, working correctly, they're not no longer spawning outside a playable game area. Might, might have a problem with just a bunch of things spawning, because the spawn rate's so high. But maybe not. It's just kind of random. Every time you come here, it's just uh, totally random how many enemies you end up spawning. Yeah, I'm definitely using that blue crystal quite a bit here, so I don't think I would have much room to use it on anything else other than phantasms, the rate right things have been going. Alright, well, since I've got a bunch of health, I might as well try resting. Maybe... okay. I guess we're safe for the moment. Get that guy's ammo. Okay, chances aren't great that I'll rest successfully, but so far I'm getting kind of lucky here. I don't feel like I've been spawning tons of random monsters. Ah! 
And with the action being so much more intense on Total Carnage, it's really nice not to have to worry about conserving ammo. You can just focus on the combat. Alright, try to draw out as many things as I can here. Which doesn't seem to be very many. Definitely want to make sure I'm at full health before I rush in here. Alright, see what happens. All right. Uh, we'll try that again. It's definitely much harder on Total Carnage, that's for sure. The main thing that makes it harder there is just the... Uh, I've used my blue crystal so much more by this point in the game than I normally would. It's charging slower and... You know, when you get attacked by two phantasms, and you, you need to hit them three times with a crystal that's charging slow. It can be really hard to do. All right, well, I don't know what I'm going to do differently this time. I just need to get those phantasms as fast as possible, because... All right, that went a little better. All right, we definitely got plenty of random spawns while we were running around in that section. And the good news is I should be, well, I don't know, I guess depending on if I take the teleporter to take me back to lock and load quickly or not, I would uh, be about done with my blue crystal at this point. But, I don't know, I kind of like just getting the body count from completing the rest of the maps that... I didn't explore yet, like the the other half of um, Evil Undead Phantasms and uh, But They're Hungry. I just kind of left half the map unexplored. So probably if you're smart, you'll just take the teleporter because I think the the body count bonus you get from clearing out the rest of those levels is definitely not going to make up for the time lost clearing it you know that you're going to spend resting while you go through the le rest of these levels so if you're going for a high score uh yeah i think i'm actually just going to do this cuz there's really no advantage to 
clearing out the rest of the those levels that I didn't explore because yeah, like like I just said, you'll waste a bunch more time on your clock and you'll only increase your um carnage count by a little bit, so it probably would never work out to your advantage. Also, it just saves me having to run back to back through. They may be slow with nothing to kill, really. Um, all right, so that's going to be it for this video. Got the alien pipes around the ground floor, and in the next video, we'll start going down the pyramid. All right, thanks for watching.